It took us less than an hour to install both of these medicine cabinets. I'm gonna show you how easy it is to do that. Let's go. All right, so these are our mirrors unboxed. And what we're gonna do first is figure out the location of them. And if you're going to do that, the best thing to do is get the homeowner in here or whatever and, and figure out how high you want them because you know the preferences could change. For us, it seems like right here, because the homeowners are a little bit taller, right here is the best location. So we put a little dot right there and that's where we're going to be at. So what I'm going to do is then use my laser to set up my, my bottom line and then measure this out. So we figured out the center of our uh, mirror where it's going to go and we're just centering it on our doors. This way you have one, you have one, it's on your space, um, you want to center it that way. Because our vanity faucets are also going to be centered so you want everything to be symmetric for both sides. Now what we're going to do is just measure this. We're at 13 and a half exactly by 23 and a quarter exactly. I am going to cut this exactly to size so then we can kind of push it in nice and tight. Don't over, don't make this too big because if you make it a quarter inch or half an inch bigger cutout, then it's gonna start shifting it around. out and before we cut this out we're going to pull this vanity out because it's just dry fitted right now I don't want to work over the vanity when I'm doing that or installing the lights so we're going to pull this out and then work on that drywall cut out all we have to do is add some blocking here and here and we just have to cut out these studs this is a non load bearing wall so we could do this we have no issue doing this if this is a load bearing wall you probably have to frame this out before you put any drywall up because you might have to add headers and all that kind of stuff we don't have to deal with that and you guys probably don't have to deal with that either so what we're going to do here is just make our mark like that and then make our mark here Right there, and then I'll get my multi tool and then go and cut this out. Alright, it's the big moment of truth. So I wanted this to kind of get in there a little bit snug. I don't want this to be loose in there. Let's see how we did and let's see if we know how to measure. Oh, okay, that's perfect. Push that in. So this mirror is gonna open this way. That mirror is gonna open that way. It comes with these screws. There's four screws here. All we have to do then is right here, there's these holes. We attach it basically to the blocks that we just put in there. All right, so this mirror has these little caps right here that basically goes like this. Then the cap covers it. This way it looks nice and clean. So you put that on there and then you screw it in. Push this in nicely and then screw it in. All right guys, all in this took us 45 minutes and that's with making this video. So if you're doing it on your own and you have one of these, you should be able to do it within an hour, 100%. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Good luck on your own.